All right. Uh, real quick, I wanted to go over a terraplane and hydroplane uh, duct replacement and how to properly align your ducts, your motors, and your props to avoid rubbing of props uh, against the duct, which in certain situations you may still occur a little bit of rubbing from time to time um, as the the aircraft moves and, and, and weight is, is pushing as well as wind. Uh, as the wind picks up, it typically with the, the, the quad movement and the wind, you might get a little bit of movement in the ducts. And this may cause uh, some rubbing at, at specific times and specific movements. Um, that being said, the biggest key to this platform is just eliminating as much of that as possible. When it does occur, it shouldn't be a huge issue. Um, we don't see a lot of problems coming from the slight rubbing. And eventually, those props will get rubbed down a little bit to the point to where they won't. Um, the rubbing comes into play because there is literally 0.6 millimeters between the size of the prop and the size of the opening in the duct. And this was purposeful uh, in its original design to keep the air gap as tight as possible. That being said, because of this, it's really critical to make sure they're aligned so there's a few things that we do uh, when we build the drone. Uh, we insert all four motor screws and we do them loosely. And then we tighten them in rotation like you would a, a, a tire, a spare tire if you're changing. So tighten it kind of tight, kind of tight, kind of tight, tight, all the way tight, all the way tight, all the way tight. Check the last one, do a quick check. Once we have those four screws in there, that really gets the motor as center located as you possibly can on the arm. You then wanna pull out the two screws that you're not gonna be using that are motor screws. So the north and south. And this is another critical thing. When you're installing these ducts, you want the screws that hold the ducts to be the, the, the ones running across front to rear of the body. And that again is really to help with any kind of flexing uh, especially in forward movement. So you want to remove the front and rear screw off each arm, then put on the duct. Now, when you first put the duct on, you're going to position it. And again, you're going to kind of loosely just get these screws in about a millimeter from being tight. And then we use this 3D print. And it's Available in the description, you can find a link to our Thingiverse, but print this thing just at a solid TPU or PLA, whatever you want. I use TPU, uh, and it fits right into the armhole and the duct. And if you push it straight down all the way in, it's hard to see black on gray, I understand, there you go. It helps locate and center the duct, and now I can tighten down those two screws and everything should be as centered as possible. Now, the last key to this is once you install the props, uh, you're gonna wanna install little 3D printed spacer guides. We'll also provide this in the link in the description from our Thingiverse. We use a different one than what Andy offers, mainly because we found some small variances that the ones Andy makes are just very specific and the, the gaps have to be perfect. Um, with these, you can actually align the ducts and you can move it a little more centered or a little off center in order to make sure that you're not pushing the ducts away and closer to the props. Um, so as you install this little uh, uh, spacer, you're gonna also use some E6000 and you glue it. So we actually put a little bit in each groove. We slide it on where it goes. We get it where we like it. Um, and then we put a little on the back side in between on each lip of the duct. And as what you're looking for again is that your your prop is centered, that the gap from this side to this side are pretty identical. If you can visually see all the way around that the gap is pretty symmetrical, then you should not really have any rubbing of the ducts. You can see on this one there's barely a little rubbing and this has been flown about five or six times. Um, so there's very little rubbing on these. Uh, so the duct spacer or the duct alignment tool and the duct spacer coupled with the big key is, is when you build it, getting these motors centered. Um, lastly, if you do notice, there's a big gap between the, the a difference between the gap here and here, left to right between your ducts. 
uh, especially if you built it yourself, it could be that the arms are also mispositioned. So one of the other things you may need to do is loosen your arms and get them centered inside those screw holes or at least get them symmetrical to where everything you know lines up. Um, but basically bringing these arms closer or further apart to make those two, two gaps symmetrical. At any rate, I uh, hope this helps. Keep your terraplane and hydroplanes flying. Fly safe, fly smart. Just fly. Peace.